Hi, this is Mike from Microsoft Box and Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we are going to be taking a look at something a little bit on the niche side. This is if you're getting a repeated or just a message from Synology Active Backup for Business saying that it could not create a snapshot and basically couldn't back up your devices. This is actually a really common thing. It's actually down to a very simple fault, which is actually, believe it or not, built into Windows. So let's head over to the computer and we'll take a closer look. So this is our Active Backup for Business homepage, and we can see our backup calendar. And you can see actually there's been a somewhat of a pattern emerging here. So we've got an error on Monday here, a week before that, and also again there. So there seems to be some sort of pattern forming. So if we take a closer look at what is actually going on. So the PC which has failed is our stream PC. And that seems to have failed. If we click on the failed, see what the reasoning is behind it. So you can see here it's got error code 21. So unable to read the snapshot, check the disks on the system or on the device. So this is actually a really common thing and it happens uh, yeah, quite frequently, especially if you're adding lots of data to your device or you have actually got your system protection set to a very low setting. So let's take a look at that and I'll show you what the problem actually is. So if you right click on the start bar, go into system, then choose system protection. You can, of course, if you want to, just click on system protection or type system protection down in the bottom in the search bar and you can get to this the same way. So the first thing to do is to make sure that your protection settings for the drive you want to actually back up is actually turned on. The reason behind this is because the Synology system uses the Shadow Backup System, or VSS as it's known, and basically uses Windows to create a snapshot and then it copies that snapshot to your NAS. If you're not too sure what else is going on, what you can do is click on Configure. And this is the important bit here, just to make sure that this max usage slider is set to a suitable size. Now, I had mine set to about 1%, so about 20 gigs, and that isn't enough for the snapshot images, or at least it is for some of them, but not all of them. So what I did is move it up to 10%. Uh, a very quick and easy way of doing this to make sure this is the problem, you could set it to maybe 50 or even 100% of the drive if you want to, to create a larger shadow volume cache size, but I find for me at the moment 10% seems to be absolutely fine. So once you've done that, you can click on apply, and of course if you haven't got system protection turned on, make sure it's turned on here, and click apply. Also what you can do is, if you're not too sure if the actual service is running correctly, you can just click on create here, and this will just create a very quick shadow copy. So click on create, you can call it a name, so let's just call this test, and click on create, and it will try and create a restore point. If for some reason creating a restore point fails, then increase the size that you've got allocated to it, but otherwise you should get a message like this saying the restore point was created successfully, at which point you can close all this down and you should find the next time you reboot your system, you won't get the dreaded failed message for your active backup for business. So there you go, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. There are a number of other things which can cause that error as well. So if you do click on the link that says what the error is, it'll give you a list of different error codes. I'll actually put a link in the video description to all the different error codes. So if you're getting an error code which is slightly different, you can go through and check it out and Synology will give you helpful advice. There's normally multiple methods of creating or fixing the problem. So do go through. If you get any problems or you've got any questions, feel free to reach out in the comments section below or alternatively contact me on the Discord, which is probably the better way of doing it. So that way you can show me screenshots of what's happening, etc. But anyway, hopefully this video has been useful too. If it has, smash the like button. If you want to see more content of like this on a daily basis, then maybe consider hitting the subscribe button and the join notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.